Hello, and welcome to today's Quick Plays video on how to use Equilab. Equilab is a powerful poker equity calculator that has both a Hold'em and Omaha version. This video is going to specifically look at using the Hold'em version, which could be downloaded using the link in the description box. Let's open this powerful piece of software and learn how to use it. If you've never used a poker equity calculator, this may seem a bit daunting, but with some practice, using this tool becomes a piece of cake. Essentially, we use equity calculators to figure out our equity against our opponent's actual hand or range of hands. We can use this equity to make better plays both pre-flop and post-flop, so knowing how to calculate our equities away from the table is very beneficial. We won't have the time to use this tool in real time, but with enough off-table practice you will develop intuition when estimating your equities at the table. To start, let's look at the interface and understand what's going on. Along the left we have different positions that represent players. On the respective line we can input a range of hands, or exact whole cards, and on the right we can see their equity. We can enter cards or ranges a bunch of different ways. We can click this column to input a range. We can click this column to enter specific whole cards such as our own. We can enter a random range here, clear out a row's inputs, or choose from a preset of ranges based upon the action of a particular villain. Let's start by doing a basic calculation to highlight the process. Say we open raise with ace-king, a short stack opponent shoves, and it folds back to us. In this situation we can start by opening Equilab and entering our whole cards. So we can click this button to enter our cards, click the ace of diamonds, king of spades because those are our cards, click OK, and notice that they're entered on our line. We could also manually type in ace of diamonds, king of spades on our row, but the choice is yours. Next we need to enter in a range of hands for the short stack, so we can calculate our equity against them. In poker we rarely know our opponent's exact whole cards, and thus we work in terms of ranges, or groups of likely starting hands. Let's click the hand range button for this player and enter the range of hands we think he would likely shove with here. For simplicity's sake we'll give him 9's plus, ace, queen plus. Don't worry if you disagree with this assumption, or just use it for the time being. When we open the hand range window we see a lot of different options. The left side is a starting hand matrix where the pocket pairs run diagonally, the bottom left is unsuited hands, and the top right is suited hands. There are many ways to choose ranges, such as clicking the hands in the matrix, dragging the bar below, or choosing one of the predefined ranges on the right. I usually suggest building your own ranges instead of using predefined ranges, but if you've never practiced building ranges before, the predefined ones can be a good starting point. Let's select 9's plus, ace, queen plus. A quick hint for those looking to save some time, by holding the control key and clicking 9's, it will automatically select 9's and every pair higher than it. Similarly, if we hold the control key and click ace, queen, it will choose ace, queen, and ace, king for us. This is especially useful when building wider ranges quickly, but it's a nice feature nonetheless. Now that we have everything selected, just click OK below, and the range is added to the row. To calculate the equity of our ace-king against his range of 9's plus ace-queen plus, we can click Evaluate. There are two evaluation modes, Enumerate All and Monte Carlo. I suggest using Enumerate All as it's quicker. Once we calculate our equity, we see that we have 48.65% equity. We also see down below that we have a text copy for our analysis. This is useful if you want to share your findings on forums, or save it for future reference. In this exact hand, we can simply compare our equity against the current pot odds and make a decision. Here we are getting 1.3 to 1 on a call and need at least 43% equity. Equilab showed us that we have almost 49% equity, and thus we can make a profitable call here. This doesn't mean that we will win 100% of the time when we call, but we will win often enough in the long run to make this a profitable call given the range of hands we assigned MP and what we thought he would realistically shove with. We can also use Equilab for postflop play. Just add in hands and ranges the same as we did above, but make sure to add any known postflop cards before clicking Evaluate. For instance, if the flop were Jack-10-5, we can click the flop button, and then go to Jack of Diamonds, 10 of Hearts, 5 of Spades, and OK, and the flop is automatically added. We can repeat this process for turn and river cards as well, then click Evaluate and figure out your equity. There are some other cool features built into Equilab as well. For instance, if we have the flop of Jack-10-5, we can click the pie chart icon for our opponent. From here, we can see exactly how his range hits the flop. We see that 13% of the time he has a set, 27% of the time he has an overpair, etc. This is very powerful when analyzing hands away from the table to learn how ranges hit various boards. 
Another quick note is adding specific suited combos of hands. Say a flop has two hearts and you only want to analyze your opponent's suited connector range in hearts. We'll open up the range, click the suit selection button, add all the suited connectors that you want to add that you think makes sense in your opponent's range, then click the suit selection button again, now choose hearts, OK, and now only the heart combinations of hands have been added. This is great and gives you a very specific equity calculation when you're going against flush draws. There are other uses and features of Equilab, but now you know how to use the tool and calculate equities on your own. Remember, the more practice you get with calculating equities, the more ingrained they will become and the easier it will be to estimate in real time. Same as always, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Otherwise, good luck and happy grinding.